Hi guys, so today we're having a look at this micellar cleansing water from Primark. I normally use face wipes for removing my makeup, um, but I saw this, I wanted to try it out. It's only 90p for the 100ml bottle. There was a bigger bottle, but I'm seeing how I get on with this first. Um, I basically wanted something for some nights, I feel like my eye makeup's a little bit heavier and a face wipe doesn't quite manage my whole face plus heavy eye makeup or other times I'm about to jump in the shower and I just need something to get my eye makeup off and then I'd happily wash my face twice in the shower. So we're trying this guy out. Timber! It removed some makeup from my vanity by knocking it over. Um, so I'm going to see kind of how messy this is, whether it takes a lot of scrubbing. So first of all it's a fairly um, sealed bottle, that's quite good. Um, do, do, do. There was a plastic seal around this by the way when I bought it, um, although I don't think there's really any hygiene issues with my cellar water. forgot to clip my fringe up. So let's start with the eye makeup. So I've got a waterproof mascara on today as well, which, huh. That came off really quite nice and easily. In fact, it's taken off loads of my foundation as well. Mascara is still quite firmly there, but that was just quite quick once over. No, still quite a lot of mascara there. Do -do -do. And I feel like this is slightly stinging my eyes when I'm trying to get in around the mascara. And it does say avoid contact with the eyes on it. I still didn't really get my mascara off there. Whew. I mean, they feel softer as if it's started to break down, but... Didn't know. So I don't know if it's just that I got the pad too wet um, because this does feel like it's kind of seeping into my eyes and it's not comfortable. But it is doing a very effective job at removing everything other than the waterproof mascara. So I'm going to zoom in and let you see. Um, what we've got. So I was expecting to actually go through like a couple of cotton pads to try to get most of my makeup off but I feel like this one's pretty much done it apart from that mascara. Let's zoom in and just see how my pores are looking because um, I do find sometimes with some face wipes and removers I go back and look at my pores and there's quite a bit left. Now that does seem to be the case with this one. Which makes me think if you've got kind of oilier skin or problems with blocked pores, you would have to be quite careful going back over. Or you might be better off using a separate cleanser afterwards. You can see all the wee dots there. Sorry, my pets are getting a bit hyperactive because when I come in at this time of night, it's normally to give them their dinner. So I don't know if you can see that there's really obviously still mascara on there. It's not tackled that at all. Um, so, <sighs> on the one hand, this is incredibly cheap. I've used such a small amount to remove my makeup. My skin feels comf- Girlies! My skin feels comfortable but not particularly oily. I almost feel like I could use this for kind of, you know, cleaning up the edges of my eye makeup and things without affecting how the rest of my makeup's going to sit. 
but if you're using a heavy mascara or a waterproof mascara it doesn't seem to be cut out to deal with that so on that basis I'm not going to put it into the goodbye category purely because I'm not going to be able to really use this without using another product which is kind of pointless because I almost always wear waterproof mascara these days because I tend to get quite watery eyes so yeah but if you guys have got any questions about this or any requests for future reviews as well please leave those down below and I will get back to you I hope you all had a wonderful Easter I was down staying at my parents which is why I haven't managed to film any kind of more in-depth, longer, full-day test type videos for today. But I will see you guys again on Friday, and I hope your week goes quickly. Bye!